everyone said here back again with another video in this video we are going to discuss about laravel 8 crude operations so here you can check here i have already installed in laravel 8 so if you don't know how to install laravel 8 and uh, before installing the laravel you also think about what are the packages you need to install in your system so suppose if you have if you want to install laravel 8 you should install php 7.3 version and above something you can install so now now here i'm going to show you the laravel 8 crude operations so basically here you can check here so if you want to create something so i'm going to put create here title top 10 software developer so in descriptions if you want to put something like that so you can put here something descriptions here so i'm going to click here submit once I submit it you can check here we have the details and if you want to check so just click on so so you can check we can check the details if you go want to back you can go back here if you want to edit you can edit and I want put here uh, description demo developer demo okay just click on submit once you click on the submit you can check your blog updated successfully here we have a demo added demo demo and uh, also we have seen so edit if you want to delete just click on delete so you can check here the successfully is deleted okay so now this is working fine and i have written code in here okay so i will explain you step by step here okay so how this is working so let me close the file okay so this is basically overview how this is working so here we have route inside of the route okay so this this is a basic flow basically how to crude operations are i have done so here you can check here we have the resource and resource means we can use as a get post post delete all kind of methods so we can use for the resource and here you can check here we have block so if anyone hitting the blocks for the get method post method edit delete everything so we can perform all kind of operations using resource okay so now we have the controller which name is block controller okay so we have added here okay so look i'm going to inside the block controller so now this is a block controller okay so inside the block controller we are using here block models okay so i will also explain how to create model how to create a controller so also i have created one video how to create a model how to create a controller so you can check my previous video okay so now we have the controller which is block controller inside the block controller we have index method we have the create method we have a store method okay so we have so method we have edit method also we have the update and destroy method so these are the method we are using here so we can apply one uh, in git uh, in basically route so we are already using resource so resource means we can use all kind of methods okay so suppose if you want to get post put delete something you can perform any kind of method so now we have this controller which is the block controller so inside of the block contro controller we have seen basically we have the index method okay so we have basically in the index method for the uh, basically we are using for the uh, showing first page where we are getting uh, all blog related to for the paginations also is there so how you can check pagination is working or not so i am going to put here did it is something so let me do that working or not something we can check also here okay let me check the pagination is working or not so we have now three now we have four okay so now i am going to put one more five or six something now we have five One more. let me upload this now we have six so you can check now we have the pagination okay so i am going to click here in pagination so we get the page second and inside the page this one um, 
might be here some issue i will explain you after some time so now you can check here we have uh, this store is working perfectly so now i'm going to again back okay so basically this pagination issue is there we will check later so don't worry about it so now basically this is working fine let me click on this again look here okay so now why this is working and what we need to do here so we are basically fetching details here and then after we are uploading here we are basically we are passing using compact method all blocks in index.blade.php so where is this so i am going to show you all resource file we are putting here resource inside the resource we have the view folder and here we have the blocks so inside of blocks i have added index this one layout so some things we have like this one so here the basic structure in laravel so we have a route here okay inside sorry we have the blocks folder inside the block blocks folder we have this file which is first is create edit okay index layout and so so now we have basically this is a, a main file okay so we have put it here some kind of uh, bootstrap url and here we have added uh, some functionality basically and here we are using l and content okay and here we have the footer so inside the l content we will apply every pages so suppose we are using index page then we have added here extended layout so here this layout we are fetching basically let me open the file layout dot blade.php this one okay we have the content here so now i'm going to click on the index here so we are extending block blocks dot layout which is this page basically we are extending here so now we are we have the content where is content here we are uh, basically wrapping here so now we are fetching here the this content will reflect everywhere now okay so means index page so now we are fetching here and we have the row and we have column something so check all blocks something uh, we are fetching here you can check here clause and then we have one button after that this uh, when we are uh, basically calling this button then automatically calling uh, resource inside the resource we uh, sorry we have uh, route web.php then we are calling directly block controller okay so we have block controller inside the block controller we have the multiple methods methods okay we have the create so we are basically uh, once we clicking this one it means we have this page which is for the title description and submit button something okay so now this is coming from here okay if we clicking here then we're getting form so this form basically we are getting so same things we are also doing here we are extending and we are applying here l method then we are putting all things is here okay inside of the here so here we are using okay so basically if errors any so we are we will uh, print this one okay in any kind of error if we are checking and once whenever we are creating let, let me show you suppose the title and descriptions is required if you don't want to push that look here click on the submit button and here we get the title field is required and descriptions field are required so we need to put the data inside the title and descriptions otherwise we will get error so basically uh, we are checking here okay so now we are passing here uh, blocks dot store okay so let me show you uh, so we are using here uh, title and description you can check here we have the description we have submit button so then we are hitting here store which is a store method based in uh, block dot controller basically here we have a store method basically we are checking here okay this way and once we checking this here we are passing inside of the our model we have already created block so where we can check block you can check inside of the block uh, sorry inside of the model folder we have block dot php so now you can check here we have the title and description something so we are passing here and we are printing basically uh, sorry we are creating this one we have the all requested then we are uh, title and description and then we are inserting inside of the databases so here we are inserting once this database re redirect then we are redirecting here uh, we have routes which is blocks dot index 
basically so and we are also passing this message blocks created successfully so now I hope so this is clear now we have edit method so once we get the uh, let me check this one we have here okay so we have the title description and here action here we have the so and same things we are doing here for the so method we have also here you can check we have the so and we are uh, fetching all details related to blog and we are also passing here okay so once we passing all compact related to blocks we have already okay so then we are passing everything here inside the blocks and Hi. suppose we have your edit method also we are passing edit uh, all blocks related things here and uh, once we are passing everything is here then let me show something uh, edit dot edit page basically we have uh, this edit dot blade dot php and inside of the blade dot php hope so this is here uh, now this is clear for you and uh, also and here we have a uh, block basically let me click on this we have this index and uh, here again we are checking if any errors occur so then here you can you can check here so when we calling this method which is update and also we are passing here uh, other parameters okay so this is a basically blog id and also we are passing here put method okay so now we have this a uh, technique to update basically suppose now we getting here so we have here uh, related to block things also we are doing here so now we getting all things is here we are also checking here title and description something and then we are updating basically here okay so now we are also destroying things once you click on the here let me show you here we have the uh, delete method basically also we are passing here once clicking on the submit basically uh, delete basically when whenever, whenever you want to delete something you can perform like this one also okay so now we are passing here then we are deleting basically we can destroy okay here like we have already blocks and we are doing here some activities so you can perform like this operations okay so now I am going to show you our model which is here okay so now hope so this is clear so I will post my blog also uh, so you can check out from my blog which is real programmer dot in um, then you can search here you can even you can find uh, my description area link and also you can get uh, if you want to code um, this code so you can uh, check from my github repository also I will upload inside the my github repository you can find out in description area I have already uploaded here this one laravel 8 crude operations and uh, about the blog you can check out from real programmer dot in okay and also if you want to this video in brief introductions about how to this is working and everything step by step please comment on comment section so i will create new video and also i will try to explain you more better way okay so here you can check uh, so you can search from here laravel 8 crude operations soon uh, so I will upload so you can check out here okay thank you for watching this video